going on to you libras so you libras have got the five of pentacles lovers the world the three of cups the queen of swords two of swords excuse me two of pentacles the ten of cups let me show it to you again ten of cups three of swords eight of swords the hangman okay all right um so for you libras right the five of pentacles lovers the world three of cups okay five of pentacles running away from <laughs> running running away from these how do i say this running away from when people try to run game on you trying to make it seem like they love you and all this stuff a lot of you libra starting to realize that there's a lot of people out here who will say anything including i love you in order for them to be able to get some action if you know what i mean and have you in a in a place just in general in a position in life where it is that they want you they want to have full access to you right based off of the premise of them loving you while at the same time you libras aren't really respected according uh, right according to to you but that's the way that they respect you unfortunately like an object which is a complete dub no you libras are not objects right but the world now here represents how you libras are obviously not going for that you they they're missing the point right they're missing the fact that a lot of you libras you can be very valuable um and when people really don't see that you're not just a body, right, or attraction, but a lot of you Libras can sometimes have bright ideas and think outside of the box, right, then obviously you really don't like this person because air signs are all about that. You know, air signs are not really going to be attracted to you. I mean, it depends. I mean, to be honest with you, a, a Libra, you know, y'all may be attracted to somebody, but even though you're attracted to them, you may not even decide to spend very long time with them. You may just think that you, it may be uh, good to just sample them. Because for you, a lot of you Libras really want a partner in which you can share a gr ground with, right? It's a relationship. And that's, and that's what it is that people are missing about you or they were in the past were missing. The Three of Cups and the Queen of Swords represents, because this is self-reflection. This is reflection, right? But the Three of Cups and the Queen of uh, Swords represents how, you know, a lot of you Libras are looking at it like, you know, whatever it is that you go up and you try to speak to people, it's always some stupid stuff. Like, they, they want you, Three of Cups, they want you to chase up after them and lap up after them. You got to do most of the work. People don't know. People don't call you know what I mean? It's this arrogance. People don't want to call. People act like, you know what I mean? Some one person needs to put in the work. Like I said before, yo, the only, the, the types of people that have that mentality that where, you know, you need to put in more work, I can show and prove to you Libras, yo, that's, that's loser stuff. Because I don't know how all it is to the person who's doing well, what they're doing when they do that type of stuff, they act like you should call, you should do this, you should do that. Every time they're showing you that they're really scared to really socialize, you know? And the thing about it is, is that the Queen of Swords now represents, and a lot of you Libras just see that, like, there's no point in doing that because that's whack and you're 100% correct. So the Two of Pentacles now represents a lot of you Libras are like, okay, well, just kind of thinking about a plan. Where do you go from here, right? Well, okay, you know that you want someone to, I mean, my gosh, put an effort, right? And not have it be so lazy. But the 10 of cups here represents here, but you know, you, for, for the, for the, in the past, you've had temporary, right? Where it was temporary, where it is that, where so much so, you're looking for something a little bit more long lasting. And because a lot of you Libras made 10 of cups, right? It You got to a high note in your life where with someone, where you were in a great relationship, 
and then it went downhill. It essentially, right, was for a time, it was for a season. And that's where the Three of Swords come into play because that's where the heartbreak is. A lot of you Libras are like, well, try again, because this is reflection. A lot of this stuff is, this is reflection. A lot of you Libras haven't necessarily gone up to talk to people as of right now. This is more so reflection where it's like a lot of you Libras won't change, right? And you're thinking about how to actually, you know, maximize on on you getting to know people as opposed to people turning you down and truth be told i you know the answer to that is really on some real stuff is that you libras really just have to come to grips with the understanding that you know most people are single most people are single most people you know what i mean like most people overvalue themselves severely so the eight of swords now and the hangman right represents the the eight of swords is about how um again and also the social awkwardness too you know truth be told social awkwardness is a is a big part of it because one of the things one of the reasons why it is that people kind of dub you in particular but just in but just in general when it happens but W in particular is due to the fact that the, the game is, the, look, this is part of the game. The game is designed like this, right? Most people are honestly single, but a lot of people really don't want to be seen as losers. So what they'll do is, is that they'll lie to make it seem like they have somebody, even though they really don't. And the reason why it is that people do that is because there's, there's this pressure that a lot of people put on themselves, right, in, in, in society, right, what's trendy, what's hot, right, what's booming, where the mentality is, is that you're a loser, right, if you don't have anybody, if you can't get people to chase up after you and lap up after you and just trying to hopelessly be romantic and chase after you that's what's out that's what's trendy so the thing about it is is that the hank man when you libras are, are being real you got to understand that since a lot of you libras are being real you're not you don't have to lie to be like oh yeah i got somebody you know and all this other type of stuff that puts you in a different bracket because you're actually truthful about your your situation and that a lot of people, just imagine that, how many people lie about having somebody that you never see. They, you never see, you never see that type of stuff. You never see their, the person whom they are in a relationship with. They're just talking hypothetically. And it's like, come on, yo. So, so um, the best way to honestly cut back on that is there really is no best way because you really, you really have to get yourselves into the mindset of knowing. Let's clarify the, um, let's clarify the three of swords. You, excuse me. You really just have to get into the mindset of really understanding that the the blessing and all of this stuff is when people show you the fake stuff, and that's who it is that they are, right? That's who they, that's who it is that they choose to be. So to clarify the three of swords, we have. The Ten of Swords, the uh, Emperor, the Lovers, and the Two of Cups. So again, so this is a situation for a lot of you where what it is that y'all should be doing is that you should understand that that's not a bad thing if these people who are more than likely lying anyway tell you, no, they're not interested in you and all this other type of stuff and they got somebody already. You just need to be like an Aries in that regard, right? Your opposite zodiac sign and be a little bit more steadfast and understand that these people are lying and that most people, right? Whenever it is that they said that they got somebody, I'm telling you from experience, they're really lying because you never actually see these people. They so, but they don't want to come clean on, on that fact. So the lovers and the two of cups represents how this is a situation for a lot of you um, uh, Libras, where the next the next best thing for you Libras to do 
is to is to like I said before, find and continue to communicate with people who are real enough. Because when people are are real like that, people people who are real, they don't have to sit up here and lie and make it seem like they got somebody when they really don't. 